Okay, in the previous lesson we learned how to blink one LED. However, that's not sufficient for me, so I looked in the um, sample programs on the thumb drive and saw the how to control six LEDs and it uses a loop statement. You can look at the programming on that. I'm not going too much into the programming, the code. There's a lot of explanations on that, um, but you can tweak and play around with it. Um, the way I have this hooked up is I ran a ground wire. I took it from one of the grounds on the bottom. It doesn't matter where you pull it from. And it runs down the side of all of the LEDs. The first six LEDs. I ran a ground and then I just ran one wire from the next to the next to the next. So hooked all the left side together. Remember the LEDs have a built in resistor. And then I simply wired. You'll notice in the wiring diagram in the, it's called loop sketch. Um, so that the integer pins, the pins it's going to use is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And that's the array of pins that it's going to use for the six lights. Numbers 2 through 7. That will give you six LEDs. Um, the original timing in here was 100. I changed the timer slightly so you could see it as an int timer of 100 in the code. I changed that a little bit slower so you can actually see the lights going through. And this just sequences back and forth. Looks a lot like the night lighter, t night rider type of lights that you may remember from the 80s. Well, what I'm also going to do is I want to add in a few more pins. Since I actually have a column of 10 pins, I'm going to go into my code and I will paste this sketch along with this demo. And I'm simply going to add in some pins. Oh get my keyboard here and I'm going to add 6, 5, 7, comma 8, comma 9, comma 10, comma 11 and I guess I could space this out make it look pretty there's a space and a comma sometimes those are necessary and sometimes they are not however in here it's just for aesthetics and I'm going to change the number of pins from 6 up until 10 number of LEDs now, I'm going to upload this code as it sits. Processor. And still only have six lights hooked up. But I'm going to quickly do the negative wires down here. Oh. Yeah, you see how it shuts off for a little bit and they put the timer back to a short time span. So now. Let me just hook in all the ground wires here on the left. I'm just continuing hooking the top one to the lower one and just running these ground wires all the way down. These ground wires, probably a lot of projects we're using an array of wires. They're always just going to hook and kind of daisy chain together to make your connections. And with that said, I'm going to get some longer wires. I'm going to hook the next LED up to pin number 8 and now see that LED is now active. The next one goes to pin 9 next one goes to pin 11 oops 10 and the next one goes to pin 11 and now you can see the full array of pen LEDs cycling back and forth using the four next loop. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. There might be some screen flicker. So I'm going to change the timing and make it a little bit slower and see if that makes this better on the screen. It's not skipping LEDs, which might be appearing because of the camera and the frame rate. So I'm going to re-upload my code. Now you can see it cycling through each of the LEDs in order. Um, we can go through and change the time in between each one, do some creative things there which we may work on on some future sketches. I'm going to use this particular sketch to go on to my next demo which is going to show you analog input and make a simple light meter and a way to control a bar graph, some different things we can do with that. So this wiring is going to work in the next couple of lessons. So hold on to this, look for lessons three and four and I'll do some little tutorials and videos using this particular wire setup. Thank you. Bye-bye.